So now that we have the color mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to apply it. So first thing is first, we're gonna go ahead and take the towel and just to avoid getting any color on our clothes, I'm gonna take it, try to wear a shirt that is not your favorite. So shirt just to throw it around the house. I'm gonna take the towel. It's easiest to tuck into the shirt. Okay. And then I'm going to take our protection provider what I'm gonna do is to make sure my hair is behind me. You put it in a ponytail. Okay. So just take it with your finger. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab it around my hairline. It feels kind of like a jelly-like. This is gonna prevent any staining. done what we're gonna do next is put our gloves on okay and now we are ready first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of the color off the brush I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna use the back of my brush or you can use a clip I'm gonna go ahead and use the back of my comb or back of my brush I'm gonna go about an inch behind that hairline. Straight down into almost a diagonal. So it may take you a second to get your right section. That looks about right. And then I'm going to take my clip I'm gonna pin everything back. Okay, it's pretty secure. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some color. First thing is I am going to pull this all back. I'm gonna take my brush and apply the color back. And it kind of keeps everything out of your way. And then I'm gonna bring it forward. And then I'm gonna continue that back, taking about a eighth inch of a section. No more, just continuing back. Make sure we're getting all of those little hairs back. Okay. And that's that first section. We're going to go ahead and go to the other side, do the same thing. That looks pretty clean. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and take this clip from that side since we are done over there. And I'm going to pin that back. So it's nice and clean. Same thing. I'm gonna bring it forward. Okay. One side is always gonna be a little more awkward than the other. Just focus on not taking too big of sections and do what's comfortable for you, wherever your arms wanna go. small little section left. I'm gonna go on both sides actually. And then we wanna make sure all of that gets back. This is where they really like to pop out. You can go ahead and use your hands to guide those little hairs back. And then we are done with that front section. 
So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the clip out and let everything down in the front area. Now you can go through and touch up right in front just to make sure you got all those little hairs. All right, next thing I'm gonna go right down the middle. Okay, same thing, not too big a section. I'm gonna go from forward to the back. That looks pretty good. Use your eye, you'll know if it's too much. Same thing. I'm gonna go back maybe one more time. Let's see, it's a little too big. Okay, and I'm gonna go down one more time. And that looks like that's about good. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Same thing. And now I part down the middle, so that's why I started there. If you don't part down the middle, try to section it off wherever you start your part. So if you start over here, make sure you are sectioning on that side because that's obviously where that gray, you are gonna notice that gray the most. And then it looks like that's pretty far enough. So I'm gonna take it just kind of back towards the middle. Looks like that's where it wants to lay. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. So I'm gonna take a small little section this is all going to be by feel. Same thing, not too big of sections. So actually, I'm going to kind of take it, make sure that's down. I can kind of see. I'm going to flip it forward. So if you're in the mirror, you can kind of start to see if you have your head angled the right way. Where that color is going and what section you're at. So we're going to go down by about, I don't know, four to five, depending on what you're comfortable with. And then, looks like that's all getting. So this crown area in the back, we aren't gonna have to go too far down. Like I said, it's all by feel, so don't get frustrated. If you feel that color going on your head, you're safe. And then, I, I'm gonna go one more. And then that should cover the back. Looks like that's it. So I'm fully colored on the hairline down the middle of where my part is and then the back. So this is gonna, okay, so after all of this is done and applied, 45 minutes if you have gray and if you are just touching up your base, it stays on for 35.